Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. I was requested by a few of you guys to make more KWGT tutorial videos. So I thought, for those of you looking for step-by-step -step guides and advice, I'd make a mini-series just for you. Each episode building on top of the last. I'll be showing you how to customize your KWGT widgets, as well as how to create your own from scratch. So if you like this type of video and want to see more in the series, make sure you like and subscribe to show your interest. So here we are with episode 2 and we're going to be covering the most used forms of KWGT widgets, clocks. Specifically, I'm going to be covering these 7 clock widgets and how you can create them from the ground up. But before we get started, if you want to get a hold of the basics of widget manipulation, make sure you check out episode 1 in the series. Link is going to be in the top right corner for you all. And if you're after my live wallpapers, link for that is going to be in the description below. So now that that's out of the way, the only thing you're going to need in order to follow this tutorial is KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key. So let's kick things off by making ourselves a basic analog clock widget. Simply just load in a KWGT layout to your home screen. Personally, I always go with a 4x4 layout and then adjust it as I need to. Now simply tap on it to load up the widget maker and hit new. So now that we have a blank canvas, let's start adding in a few items. The first of which, to help organize the items in our widget, let's add in an overlay group. And within that group, let's load in a shape. By default, it's going to load in a square. But what you want to do is head in and change that to a circle. Next, just simply adjust the size until you get to a look that you like. And to get that hollow look, just simply head into paint and change the style from fill to stroke, adjusting the stroke size as necessary. Here, I'm going to go with a stroke size of 10. Now that we have the clock frame sorted, let's add in the clock hands. So let's start with the hours hand, simply add in the overlay group and rename it to hours. Next, as you probably guessed it, we're going to go in and add in a shape. This time, we're going to add in a rectangle, adjusting the height and width until you eventually get to something that resembles an hour hand. And to make things easier for you, make sure you head into position and you move the rectangle up and down while you're changing the size. Once you're done, head back so you're still in the hour level group but outside the rectangle shape. Here, you're going to head into the layer section and using the rotation option, we're going to change this to clock hour hand, smooth. What this is going to do is make all of the items within the layer rotate according to the hour of the day. Now let's wrap up this widget by repeating the steps, this time for the minute hand. Creating a minute overlay group, followed by a minute hand rectangle shape, and then finally adding a rotation to the overlay group, this time selecting clock hand exact. Now let's move on to the second clock widget. This time, a digital clock with a circular minute countdown bar. We're going to once again start with an overlay group, but this time within it we're going to add a progress item. By default, this is going to be set to indicate your phone's battery level. First thing, let's head into the styles option and change it from a simple linear bar to a circular one. And then just simply adjust the height and size before moving back to the progress section. And then you can change the progress type to minutes or even keep it as a battery level indicator. Next, we're going to finish off this widget with a large digital clock. Just simply head back and add in a text item. Lucky for us, this is going to be set by default to a digital clock. At this point, feel free to adjust the size and the font styles till you get something that you like. And like always, before you leave, make sure you hit save. Next is one of my favorite styles, the banner. This is another one that's very simple to create, but it's definitely very pleasing on the eyes. Just simply start with an overlay group, add in a shape, turn it into a rectangle, and then reposition it to the left hand side. If you liked the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Next, let's add in a digital clock. And like I mentioned previously, text items will be preset to be a clock. Now simply resize and reposition it and let's move on. The final part of this widget is going to be a transparent date. Just simply add in another text item, head into it, click on text, now replace the formula that's there with this one that I'm showing on screen. Now as you probably noticed as you're resizing the date, you can't really see it as it's blending in with the white background of the rectangle. 
So to fix this, we're simply going to head into paint, change the color of the text so it's transparent, and then change the filter from normal to multiply. Finally, just reposition, resize, and make sure you hit save. Next, let's build this pill shaped day and time widget. The top pill also indicates the battery level of the phone, and the bottom is a minute countdown to the hour. Let's once again start with the overlay group, but this time we're going to add two subgroups, one for each pill. To help us better organize, let's rename these groups, then add in a shape, and we're going to mold this to look like a pill. Just simply use a rectangle, adjust the height, width, and then adjust the cornering. Here I'm going to go with a cornering of 66. Next, let's add the date to this widget. Load in a text icon, change the text formula to match what I'm indicating on screen, and then resize, reposition, make transparent, and then change the filter to multiply. Next, within the same pill group, let's add a progress bar. We're going to leave this as the default battery indicator. Next, what we're going to do is take the battery indicator bar and overlay it on top of the pill icon, matching it for height and width. And then we simply change the filter from normal to multiple, like we did for the date. Next, you just want to repeat these steps for a second pill. This one indicating the time and changing the progress bar from battery to minutes, similar to what we did in the last widget. So the fifth widget, the triangle backdrop, is simply another combination of all of the techniques that we've covered so far in this video, all simply put together in a more stylized fashion. So instead of boring you guys with the same techniques that we've already covered in the last four widgets, let me just break this amalgamation down to its individual pieces. So starting with the centerpiece, it's a simple pill icon with a transparent date, similar to what we did in widget number four. And above that, we have a basic battery progress bar. And rounding off the bottom, we have a time indicator, which has been stylized to show only the outline of the numbers itself. It's as simple as going in and changing the style from fill to stroke, similar to what we did with the circle in widget number one. And finally, completing the widget, we have the triangle backdrop. This is a simple triangle shape, which you're going to want to resize and reposition. The style has been changed from fill to stroke, just like we did for the time indicator. And then we're going to add the gradient look. Simply head into FX and change the texture to horizontal gradient. There's quite a few different options in here, so feel free to give them a try. And the final thing we're going to do to wrap up this widget, as you probably noticed, the triangle is sitting in front of all of the other items. Basically, every time you add a new item into a widget, it's going to be placed in front of the last. So what we're going to do is very simple. Just head back to the items listing and drag any item that we want in the background to the top of the list, as I'm doing here. Finally, we're on the sixth and final widget, the battery level indicator. For this one, I'm going to skip ahead to the bit that you all wanna see, the creation of the battery indicator and how it works. But as a side note, here are the formulas that I use to indicate the date and day for you guys. So for the battery indicator and shapes in this widget, I'm going to use an overlay group. So let's add in a new item and this time select font icon. By default, this is going to load in a star to your screen. To change this, just simply head into it and tap on icon. Now you're going to be able to change the star to any of the default icons. But at this point, we're going to use the search function on the top to look for battery icons. Just simply select battery full, and then we're going to use the rotate option to rotate it by 90 degrees. And to hollow it out, we're going to head into paint and change it from fill to stroke. And then we just want to resize and reposition it until we get to a point that we're happy with. Next, we're going to load in a battery progress bar, similar to what we've done in the last couple widgets. Now simply resize it and reposition it so it covers the battery indicator fully. At this point, we want to move the battery bar indicator behind the battery icon to simply drag and drop it to the top of the list. Next, let's go and change the color of the battery bar indicator within the paint option. Now that we have some color, you can probably tell that the battery bar is actually spilling over the edge of the battery icon. But if you can't tell, one of the things that I like to do is turn the empty part of the battery bar indicator to red, so it really stands out. 
Now the trick to hiding this kind of overspill is very simple. Just simply load in a shape, reposition it so it's just covering the overspill. And once you're happy with the positioning, head into paint and change the filter from normal to clear. This is going to make the shape as well as anything else in that same space in all other lower layers transparent as you can see on my screen. Now all you need to do is rearrange the order of the layers making sure that the transparent shape is set underneath the battery icon but on top of the battery bar indicator. Now simply repeat these steps for the other side of the overspill and change the red of the battery bar indicator to transparent. The final piece of this widget setup, the colored backdrops. These are simply slim rectangle shapes with curved edges rotated using the manual settings and set once more to the stroke style. And there you have it, six different examples of clock widgets that you can build on your home screens. Let me know in the comment section below if you found this video useful and if you want to see more just like this or even if you have any video or theme suggestions. And like always, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.